it's Ja checking in from Sunday meal prep. Um, I got some questions about meal prepping this week, and so I just wanted to say hey from my Sunday meal prep. So bills are coming in, rents due. You only got a little bit of money or whatever, so you get stuff on sale. And you can eat really, really, really good, even stuff on sale. So right now, cabbage is super cheap. It's 49 cents uh, a pound. So I got a real big cabbage. I got some onions. I got some potatoes. I already had dried chickpeas in the house. Um, and some frozen broccoli and sugar snap peas. So I'm making like four or five different meals right now. I can't. I lost count. Um, I got... We're doing a stir fry, big old stir fry, but not really fried. All the veggies were sauteed, sauteed onions, then celery, then uh, red peppers, then cabbage, and then steamed for a little bit, and then the defrosted frozen veggies. So that's pretty much almost done. Um, I'm doing like a sauteed cabbage right now. So, my camera situation is kind of weird, but just bear with me. So, got a pan with some oil in it right there. Got my cabbage. I already partially steamed this cabbage, and I steamed it on top of a pot of rice. There's brown rice under here. So, I chopped up my cabbage, and then I put it on a glass, you see that glass um, baking dish, with a little bit of water, and then covered it with a lid and it lightly steamed it so that did some of the work for me I had some chopped onions I had everything already chopped beforehand I'm gonna throw some chopped onions in there Bloop. um and then that was on low because the Asian the stir fry was in there and so I dumped that into the big bowl it's already done I'm gonna just wipe it down use the same bowl so this one needs to heat up but you want it on like a medium high. You want to saute those uh, onions until they get nice and golden brown. You're going to add the steamed cabbage just to get some color on it. And then season it up with a little garlic salt, um, red pepper flake. And that's pretty much it. I got some potatoes. Those potatoes are going to be the bomb.com. I'm going to eat like maybe this much or none. I'm not going to eat any of those potatoes. I got a taste just to know the seasoning. Um, <laughs> but it's... Um, sauteed diced onion and then the potatoes and I chop the potatoes and then you put them in the microwave for like five minutes um, and then they get a little soft so you're not like frying them frying them you're just getting some of the nice crunchy little bits that I'm not gonna eat anymore of only because they're white potatoes and I don't really eat anything white and because they have a little bit of sasson and sas and just a little bit compared to you know and the sasong has MSG in it, and it makes me so sad. So, you know, MSG is no good. It contributes to belly fat and all that other stuff. Um, in here, I got some chickpeas boiled with, like, the tiniest little pinch of salt. And I'm going to make two different dishes with that. I'm going to stew the chickpeas with a little bit of tomato sauce and some red onion and or some red pepper and onion and so that's going to be like I can do that on top of rice I can do that uh, I can make falafel out of that I may I may make falafel out of that and then I'm going to do some hi I'm gonna do some seasoned chickpeas like roasted for a snack um for snacks for the week so that's me meal prepping um, it doesn't have to be super hard. You only take like two hours out of one day and you see all those meals that I'm going to have. And they're all plant strong. Bloop. No cruelty. Um, there's chicken in the refrigerator that's already cooked for the members of my household who want to eat chicken. I'm, I'm cool with that. It kind of, it's, I don't like buying it. I really don't like cooking it anymore. But that, it's everybody's choice and I'm not one of those people who are like, um, you're wrong like everybody has the right to their opinion I just know like facts and factually speaking it's just better for everybody and for the environment if we just try to eat less 
you know, just try to eat less of animal products, animal byproducts, and see how you feel, and see what your wallet looks like, and see what your waist looks like, and, you know, just, just, just give it a try. Um, all this stuff is going to be super delicious, and it's all vegan, and it's all healthy, so... If I can do it, you can do it. It's on a budget. Like, I spent $20 at the grocery store for food for the rest of the week. Um, there's no excuses. You can do it. All right. Peace out. Just bye.